good morning, good morning everybody. Look at that. Hey, we got some rain there last night, but uh, we didn't have to drive in any rain last night, so today the roads should be good. We are just getting ready to roll. There's actually the second truck beside me here. Before it was the first truck, but another guy decided to pull in between us here. There's a car light tractor and trailer in there. And if you don't know or remember that name or if it doesn't ring a bell to you, it's the Ice Road Truckers from Alaska. Yep, that's it. And here we go. We are getting on the road. And See if we can make her to Saskatoon Take today. The entrance to the right on I 94 West, US 52 West. All right, you tell them there, RJ. You tell them. Yes, sir. -y. Anyways, that's another gorgeous day out here, isn't it? Yeah. Uh huh. Mom says that the sunshine always follows you. Yeah. We try, anyways. Yeah. Yeah, we got about 315 miles to go to the border. So that means about five hours of driving. Or just over five and then we'll be in uh, Canada. Yeah. So here we go, put the hammer down and... Uh, Continue on this road for 47 miles. And then we'll... Uh, Jamestown here about 47 miles. So about an hour we'll be uh, we'll be in Jamestown, North Dakota that is. Yeah, we're cutting across over here. Uh, we're gonna cross North Fort Old Saskatchewan border there. That's where we're gonna cross into Saskatchewan. Because it's a little bit closer than coming across Manitoba, so that's what we will be doing. Anyways, let's get down the road and see what kind of day we will have for us today. I hope it's going to be a good day. Well, guys, we are in Minot, North Dakota. Have a look at this gorgeous truck up here. That's a gorgeous truck, eh? Me and the son are going to go have some breakfast, eh? There's a helicopter. Where is the helicopter? It's up there, but it's behind the roof. Oh, it's behind the roof now? Oh, okay. Anyways, we're over here at the truck stop. We're going to go have ourselves some good breakfast, right? I guess. Much needed. It's uh -huh. already 11.30. We already ate a couple of cookies. Yeah, we ate a couple of cookies, but that's not going to fill us, right? No. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. We had ourselves a good breakfast. Oh, yeah. Now we are leaving Minot, North Dakota. About two hours to the border, and then we'll be in Saskatchewan. Yep. Oh, yeah. Another gorgeous day. Talk to the customer, and they say we can come in there tomorrow, first thing in the morning, deliver our load. And that's good news. Yep. Talk to dispatch. He's saying they'll probably get us to go over to York to pick up a load there and come home. So that's fantastic. Exactly the way we wanted it. Yes, we did. Go home from Saskatoon. Gonna be home over the weekend. That's gonna be awesome. Yep, be home for the weekend. Well, guys, here we are at the border. We're just about at the border. We are in Portal, North Dakota, right now, and the other side is North Portal, Saskatchewan. Yeah, it says that this border is open 24 hours a day. That's good. Looks like we got a long lineup over here today, so it's gonna take a while to get across the border. Whatever the case, we'll get across today, hopefully. So we'll see you on the other side. Here we go, guys. We are in Saskatchewan. No, we are in North Portal, Saskatchewan. Yeah, it only took about 45 minutes to get across the border. Well, 38 to be exact. 38 minutes. Speed limit reduced to half. Yeah. Speed warning. That's 
what it took. Here we go. Regina, 233 kilometers. So we got about two and a half hours up to Regina. And then probably another three hours to Saskatoon. So about five and a quarter hours that we got to drive yet today. Yes, sirree, that's for sure. $280 fine if using the cell phone handheld, I guess. Wow, that's what the sign said up there. That is a lot. Uh -huh. Anyways, cruising along. It's pretty warm up here today, that's for sure. Yes, it is. Nice and sunny, too. Yep. Like it's windy like usual up here in Saskatchewan. That's normal? Yeah. Always windy in Saskatchewan. Okay. If it's not windy, there's something wrong. <laughs> Anyways. We'll put the hammer down and see how far we get before we stop again. Yeah. Well guys, here we are in Saskatchewan still. I call this a dead highway, but <laughs> pretty much in the middle of nowhere and as you can see in swampland area, sometimes the water gets really high up here and sometimes it gets even across over the highway here, but I don't know why people stop here on the side of the highway, but I guess they're inspecting uh, the highway and all that stuff, but well, we got some people slowing down up here. I don't know what's going on with that. I guess some people decide to slow down in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, so it's the way it goes, but anyways, we are cruising along, like I said, and just enjoying the wonderful day. Hey guys, we are here in Saskatoon. We are going to pull into a truck stop soon, and we're going to deliver our load tomorrow morning, and uh, Dad talked with uh, Box a little bit, and uh, Big Jerry there, and uh, Big Jerry had apparently lost his mother, and so, uh, so, uh, yeah, it's hard for him, but, uh, oh well, it's gonna happen one day, and we'll pray for him, but, uh, yeah, a book for a long while. I don't know if you guys know, but I've been reading a series. And uh, the book that I'm reading right now is called Closer. It starts off with tunnels, then uh, deeper, then free fall, closer, and then it's off a spiral, from what I know of. And uh, yeah, I read a good two and a two to ten, uh, two minutes and ten minutes. No, two hours, sorry, and ten minutes, and so I read a hundred pages is just a lot because usually if I read just for half an hour I only get to 20 pages done because of how many words is on one side of the page, but uh, I'm really surprised on how far I got into the book. I've only started it for three days because I finished Free Fall only three days ago on uh, Sunday and I think if you guys like reading, you should check out that series. So, we had a really nice day today. We had uh, one point where there was a big storm, there was lots of lightning, and uh, when we were in Regina, I'm pretty sure we were in Regina, and yeah. uh, there was a big storm, and there was a construction area, and there were lots of traffic there, but once we got to uh, the construction zone, we were pretty good and uh, once the storm weared off we had nice sunshine from there on and uh, we've been really enjoying our time together and me and dad have been talking with each other and so we only have one box left of pizza pops and the plan was to eat them tomorrow so dad knows what the jill is so but the plan was is that uh, tomorrow for lunch we're gonna have the last box of pizza pops and on Friday we're gonna eat all the muffins and the cookies mom made us. Yeah, we had a couple of cookies this morning because we were getting a little hungry and so we just had a little snack before we had breakfast and so 
to yesterday at least. And uh, so, yeah, we had a pretty good day today. Yeah, we certainly did. We got 1,013 kilometers in right now. We're just gonna go over to the Fly and J, which is on the other side of town, 10 kilometers away. And we'll go in there and find ourselves a parking spot. Yeah, and uh, we'll call it a day. Yep. And tomorrow morning we'll go in and do our delivery. Wow, look at that, that's a speeding camera right there to the left. Wow. Yeah. Never seen one before. We got a lot of them built here in Saskatchewan though. Oh, okay. Yeah. It is still a little bit blue up there in the sky, but further uh, south, uh, southwest there. But so far we got nice sunshine though for the last little while. So. Yep. Anyways, we. Uh, Found out that uh, Big Jerry there, he lost his uh, lost his mom, and uh, yeah, well, our condolences to you there, Big Jerry. I know this video is probably going to be a week behind, but uh, still, uh, we know that a week from today you're still going to be in pain. I'm pretty sure I would. I know I would. Speed uh, limit reduced to half feel down for a while, I know that for sure, although I'm not close to my mom, but uh, actually, actually, I don't even have anything to do with my mom, but, uh, that's a different story, yeah, so, yeah, anyways, we're just coming into Saskatoon here right now, Coming into town, and the sun is probably blocking that GoPro 4 there a little bit. They got another speed trap up here. Uh -huh. Anyways, we'll be right back, y'all. Well, guys, we are finito for today. We had a good dinner, right? Yeah. Good T-bone steak. And uh, we're just sitting here at the Fly and J. Yeah, just getting ready to go to bed. Oh, well, I'm tired today. Um, yep, that's right. I am tired. You too? No. Nah, not really, right? Nah. I've been sitting all day. My wife just texts me good night, so. I'm gonna text her back. Anyways, we gotta go deliver our load here tomorrow at 8 a.m. So we gotta go to bed. So we'll see you guys again tomorrow, right? Yep. All right. So well, have... more like they're gonna see us tomorrow. All right. You guys are gonna get to see us tomorrow. That's what he said. Well, beats me. Anyways, have a good one, everyone. We will see you on the next one.